Hello everybody. Today I'll discuss one of the most frequently asked questions about PNP programs and express entry. Can we move out of our PNP province? I'll tell you the right answer for it, what the law has to say about it, the problems that you might face, the do's and the don'ts. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello guys, this is Shitan Chu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia, Without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got many videos and many more are coming soon for you. Also, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, so you got nominated by a particular province under their PNP program. You got 600 additional points and you got the Canadian PR. Now, you're wondering if you can live and work outside that province in any other province of your choice. So let's suppose you got the invite from Nova Scotia PNP program, you got the Canadian PR, but you want to live and work in Ontario or British Columbia. So can you do that? Yes, you definitely can. But I'll tell you what the law has to say about it. I'll also tell you, you know, of what all documents, what all contracts do we sign here at the time of PR. Is there any foundation of any timeline? I'll tell you all of this. So let us check out the law first. So guys, I'm here in the official website of Government of Canada. This is Canada.ca. So this is the human rights page and it will brief us about the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. So I'll click on this link, your guide to the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedom. And let's see what it has to offer and let's just click on this link straight away the section 6 called mobility rights it actually states that read out the second point every citizen of Canada and every person who has the status of permanent resident of Canada has the right to move and take a precedence in any province and to pursue the gaining of a livelihood in any province so if you have a federal invite or if you have a PNP invite so if you come to Canada holding a PR either through the federal invite or the PNP invite you're still a permanent resident of Canada and this law this mobility right gives you the right to move work live study anywhere in any province of Canada so this was about the rights right now let me take you uh, to the official website of the Saskatchewan immigration and this is the SINP website as you can see you can see the uh, latest declarations here the screen was recently closed let me take you straight away to the application form ethical conduct disclosure and declaration form so basically when we fill up uh, the uh, when we actually apply for the SINP then we have to sign this declaration and then submit it to them so uh, the in the initial starting you'll find you know everything about the representative uh, this is not important at this point this time uh, I wanted to show you this even here we declare that I intend to settle live and work in Saskatchewan so here as you can say we have not declared that we you know we'll be living there forever for two years for one year for six months no time limit so we just have declared that I intend to settle in Saskatchewan so obviously uh, you should you initially you should go to Saskatchewan until you can should get your PR card and then if you're not getting job you can move on from there let me just show you the other uh, this is Nova Scotia's application form so let me just take you directly to the last part of it and here also you can see that it says that you no know, I intend to settle in the province of Nova Scotia upon arrival in Canada so even here you know you ha haven't given anywhere any time limit that you you have to spend 
this much time in the province of Nova Scotia or province of Saskatchewan. And this is the case with every province that has to offer PNP program. So this, I wanted to show you both of this actually, the law and the disclosure that we sign. So now we know that the law or rules does not bind us to stay in the nominated PNP province. We also know that we don't sign any such contract which specifies any time frame of any period that we have to live in a particular PNP province. But let's go back in time. You were quite worried because you had low CRS score. You applied for the PNP invite and you luckily got it. Now, you got the PR with the 600 additional points due to the PNP invite. So, it is your moral and ethical responsibility to contribute to the economic growth of that province which has helped you to get the Canadian PR. But it is just that, not more than that. So, the law does not stop you from working anywhere in Canada. As you have the Canadian PR, you have the right to work anywhere in any province of Canada. Now, let us talk about the problem that we might face. We actually might face this problem at the time of applying for Canadian citizenship. They might ask us the question that, you know, why we actually moved out of the province when we got the invite from the province and we, from our own will, we actually shown the intent to live and work in that province. So what should you do in such a case? So before you decide to leave the province, you should make sure that you should spend at least a couple of months living in that province at least till you get your PR card. That should be in about two months time. You should, in the meanwhile, you should actively search for jobs matching your skill set within that province. What is very important is that you should properly document your job hunting activities including the results for each job that you applied for. So let's suppose you got an email from them that you're not fit for the right fit for the for this job opportunity or you got a any other confirmation that you know you're getting a very low salary in a, in a particular job. You should document you should save all of those emails all of those letters with you. If you don't get a job offer within that province or if you don't if you get a job offer for a better position or a better salary in the other province then your move is fairly justified you should write to PNP via email or a letter that you don't have a job and that your savings are getting readily exhausted so you have a better opportunity in the other province, so you want to move out to that province. But before you do so, you should make sure that you have a job offer from the other province. Then only you should make this move. So in that case, your, your move will be properly justified and you won't face any problem in the time of the interview of Canadian citizenship. So this was it. I hope the information provided in this video was helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries or doubts, please comment in the comment section below. I would also love to hear the feedback from you. Please like and share this video. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.